Well, the death toll in Syria and Turkey is now far surpassing 12,000. It is approaching 2 o'clock in the morning on the border near Syria and uh, Turkey and the rescue efforts are happening right around the clock. Let's check in now with Fox reporter Greg Powcock. Greg, we spoke to you pretty much this time yesterday. Do you have any good news? Uh, Laura, uh, some hope, but it's, it's, a, it's a, t a really a tough trial here. We are in the city of Gaziantep. Right behind us used to be a, about an eight-story apartment block. It got completely crushed during the earthquake, and we have been on the scene here for about eight hours or so watching rescue efforts, uh, recovery efforts by teams of workers, uh, as well as a lot of construction uh, machinery, et cetera, et cetera. They are hoping to find at least some people alive under the rubble. We understand there's 16 still trapped there, but it's a race against time, Laura, because we are going up against about three days since mm. the first earthquake and that is about the limit most experts think that people can survive under these conditions even if they survive the immediate impact so uh, yeah. a lot of desperate work here right now Laura. Greg what about the rescue effort what about the the people on hand the machinery there was some early criticism that the government didn't respond quick enough what are you seeing there? Yeah, that is the knock for sure. Uh, Turkish President Erdogan was in the region and uh, he claimed that, yes, uh, while there were some stumbles at the beginning that they are coming through, is even promising to rebuild everything in a year. But having traveled uh, quite a bit around this region in the last couple of days, the devastation uh, the, uh, of, of, of many cities, the destruction of thousands upon thousands of buildings, it, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming the Turkish government. And yes, as we noted yesterday, there are international teams already on the scene coming in, maybe as many as 70 countries pitching in with rescue and, and, and search efforts uh, from their emergency staffs. And that's got to help a uh, beleaguered uh, Turkish uh, government right now. Yes, stay warm, Greg. Uh, as we mentioned, it's pretty cold there as well. We thank you so much for your time.